There's deep, he's always ready to stream His lovely family But don't forget that crazy, the crazy family Oh, oh, oh the crazy family Amanda, Sandra, Anna, Abigail, Andy Are the crazy family You got it, Sander? Yep. What'd you get? Oh, Star Wars Jabba the Hutt thing. And oh, now I got pretty nail And stuff. then I got another toy, too. Oh, another toy, too? Yep. Cool. We're gonna scan it, and it has two characters included. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, when we get home. And there's Crazy Mama and Abby. We took the... Yeah, they got Owies today. They got their shots, didn't they? Yeah. Xander was a trooper about it. Crazy Mama had to hold him down a bit, but got his shots though. Oh, what? Oh, you want to show your tattoo? Wow, uh, that's actually a sticker, honey, but that's okay though. That's he died See ya. We still have to come to Walmart, do some shopping, spend money. Yay. So, uh, yeah. It's been a busy day, puttering about and stuff. Got to work tonight, but that's okay. Abby! Abby, Abby, Abby! I I still get a smile from you even though you got a shot. Alright, we'll see you guys at home. Hello everybody. So I know it's uh kinda late to be doing this, but it I'm doing it because it's quiet in the house. There's no one awake and I have some time to do it. So I'm gonna make for you guys um some super super Super, 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 super. I mean, like, you can't get any more simpler than this. Uh, super simple peanut butter cookies. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is they are gluten free. So, people who have gluten allergies um, can have them. And, like I said, they're just so simple. Um, the recipe is one full cup of peanut butter, half a cup of sugar, and one egg. And that's it. I'm not kidding. That's it. So all you have to remember, one cup of peanut butter, half a cup of sugar, and one egg. That's it. Now, I've made these before. And the version that I myself make is not gluten free because I personally find that adding um, just a touch of flour um, makes the dough easier to work with. Um, but you could use something like, um, like a nut flour, like almond flour, or you could use another type of flour that would keep it gluten free. Um, the gluten is in like wheat and stuff like that so um, yeah adding a type of another kind of nut flour would, would definitely work um, so yeah I'll, uh, sh I'll get all the ingredients ready and I'll show you what they look like Alright, so there's all my ingredients. That's the peanut butter, sugar, flour, and one egg. And I'm going to stir it all up. Let's set this right here. It's breaking up the egg.
see what the flour does is it just kind of makes the dough a little drier. So you're able to work it a bit better with your hands. Um, like I said earlier, I, I made this um, the first time without the flour and the dough was really quite um, well wet and it was really hard to roll and um, with peanut butter cookies you have to roll them they're not like chocolate chip where you can just put globs on the, the cookie sheet and they'll just form you have to roll these and then press them with a fork um, are getting tired. <laughs> Just making sure all the flour and all that's incorporated. So it's nice and quite dry. Now this doesn't make a huge batch of cookies, but it makes enough. And um, yeah. So I will roll them all onto the cookie sheets and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I've rolled them out and now I'm just pushing them with a fork like that to make a nice crisscross pattern. And then what I like to do with sugar and just sprinkle a little bit on the tops. Just adds that little sweet touch. Okay, and I'm going to do another tray, but right now I'm going to preheat my oven, which I forgot to do, um, to 325. So I'll preheat my oven to 325. And I'll do another tray, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. 